praise the lord it's uh, such a wonderful joy <coughs> to worship our true champion uh, in our lives uh, what what we are today is because of the champion the lord jesus has shown obedience to his father and that obedience has gave us a life and also we as we have seen in the table time that he has conquered the death to give the life to each one of us it's great joy to worship our lord not only today but every day in our life for what he has done so before uh, uh, we go further uh, we, we meditate the word of god uh, let us turn in our bibles to uh, james chapter 2 verse 14 to 20 james chapter 2 verse 14 to 20 uh, i'll read it for you uh, it's in in a version you can follow in your own uh, respective bibles the letter written by james chapter 2 verse 14 to 20 what good is, is it my brothers and sisters if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds can such faith save them suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food if one of you says to them go in peace keep warm and well fed but does nothing about their physical needs what good is it in the same way faith by itself if it is not a, if it is not accompanied by action is dead but someone will say you have faith i have deeds show me your faith without deeds and i will show you my faith by my deeds you believe that there is one god good even the demons believe that and shudder you foolish person do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless yeah let us uh, pray uh, before we go further <clears throat> loving heavenly father almighty god the true champion in our lives what a wonderful opportunity that you have given each one of us to worship you to praise you and also to take part in the table in a worthy manner and to remember the death and the resurrection lord which has given which has gave life to us lord at this moment of time we want to praise you we want to worship you for what all you have done so far in our lives Lord, as we come to your presence now, Lord, and also we want to meditate on the word which has given by you to us, Lord, as we have read from the James chapter two. Please give us the words which we want, Father, in our lives, so that we may follow these words and follow your instruction as well, and we may be blessed, blessing to many. In Jesus' most mighty and precious name, I pray. Amen. So this. Uh, chapter uh, of james before we uh, uh, meditate on the word let us just uh, take some introduction of this book uh, james uh, in new testament we have so many uh, so many individuals names uh, uh, with name james but history says that this author the the james who has written this letter is an half brother of lord jesus Uh, and history has uh, concluded that because, uh, with various facts with various uh, uh, reasons they have arrived and they have narrowed down that this james is none other than half brother of lord jesus and if we just uh, look more about if we just think about more about james what kind of person he is or what kind of background he is having uh, before writing this letter or before we go further uh, of the words which we have read uh, this this individual like this james uh, he did not believe messiah when he was on the earth and even lord jesus went out to the cross and after he has rose from the dead jesus lord jesus was there on the earth for few days and uh, lord jesus has to encounter james in a straight in, in a straight forward way and james then believed that he is the true messiah like where is the people of israel waiting for after lord jesus has died and he rose again after 3 days and then he believed that yes he is the true god and he is the one whom the uh, people of israel was waiting for though he was very close to the lord jesus that he was grown up in the same house but he did not believe 
Lord Jesus. He 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 was just treating Jesus as a just normal normal other, uh, just like an, another person. You can see some instances in the Bible as well uh, about how his family has uh, treated uh, Jesus sometimes in some situations. But and eventually uh, James has went on to become a prominent leader in Jewish community after he accepted the Lord Jesus and then he st- when he started believing the Lord Jesus, then he start then he went on to become a uh, very prominent leader uh, in the Jewish community and then he was like then he was very jealously or he was he was fighting for everything for every right and uh, he went on to give so many messages uh, in, in those community and and the people of Israel or the Jewish community leaders because of his the James by nature is a very straightforward person he is by nature very practical person too and uh, he wanted anything to be put it straight that may be because Lord Jesus himself has to encounter him and he brought him to his saving uh, knowledge so maybe that is one of the reason that James even he too is a very straightforward person he never hides anything he whatever he wants to tell whatever there in his heart uh, which he feels that it is given by God and he used to tell very straightforward maybe that is one of the reason why Jewish community or Jewish uh, some of the leaders has plotted to kill uh, uh, this James and one day he was taken to the Jerusalem the the holy city and at, from the pinnacle of the temple the highest point of the temple he was thrown down and beaten to death and that's how he was martyred uh, for the Lord Jesus uh, probably in and around 62 AD the place where Satan took Lord Jesus as, a, as we see that Lord Jesus after he went on he, he came out of the past for 40 days uh, Satan tempted Lord Jesus we know that uh, we see that in the uh, gospel uh, of Matthew that he was taken to different places uh, to tempt the Lord Jesus so that he he, he want to uh, he want to uh, overcome Lord Jesus but in, in those times uh, we see the second place where Satan took Lord Jesus is the same place where now James was thrown uh, is what history says. So this is a pinnacle of the temple where James was thrown thrown down and not only thrown down but after he, he fallen down to the rocks which is there on the bottom even people have surrounded and he was beaten to death and that's how he was martyred for Lord Jesus. So if you had to mm, uh, think about this James, the letter of James. It's very simple to understand. It's very straightforward, but very tough to follow. Sometimes, even when we we also normally see, whenever we speak something straight to the person, or whenever we uh, talk directly to a person without hiding anything, uh, then sometimes it hurts the people. But some some people are very. Uh, that's how they are. They don't want to hide anything. Whatever is there in their mind, and they want to put it straight. There is no hidden thing in them. So that kind of person James is. So even if we see the words which we have, uh, the verses which we have read, it's, it clearly says that he is a man who is a very straightforward, who put things very simple and clear and he want everything to be in action. So that's how uh, we, we have the verses says about James. And also the James, uh, if we see the whole uh, uh, book of uh, this letter of James, five chapters, it has got so much of influence or so much of thoughts taken from the Sermon on the Mount where Lord Jesus that uh, we see in the Gospel, uh, Matthew Gospel 5, 6, 7 chapters. Uh, those chapter influence or those the gist of those verses are also been uh, written in this uh, probably 20, 22, 26, 25 times. Uh, I think uh, James refers those uh, Sermon on the Mountain which Lord Jesus has say, said. So that's how. Uh, just wanted to give some background about James so that it will be easy for me uh, to take off from this uh, point. So if you see the verse, uh, I just want to focus uh, this morning on the verse uh, which is written uh, in the uh, James chapter 2 and verse 20. You foolish person, just look at the words he is using, you foolish person. How tough it is for, a, for an opposite person if we, if we use the same words, you foolish person. But James is not hesitating to hide his feeling or hide his thoughts is just directly saying you foolish person do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless i remember this verse when i was very uh, when i was in my uh, like 6 7 years old uh, the place where i attend i used to attend the church uh, there is a verse written there in telugu the same verse 
క్రియలు లేని విశ్వాసము నిష్ఫలమైనదని సో దట్ వర్స్ హ్యాజ్ ఎ గ్రేట్ ఇంపాక్ట్ ఇన్ మై లైఫ్ ఈవెన్ టుడే సో యాజ్ ఎ చైల్డ్హుడ్ యాజ్ ఎ గ్రోయింగ్ గ్రోయింగ్ చైల్డ్ లైక్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫర్ ఎట్ ఏజ్ ఆఫ్ మై సిక్స్టీన్ సెవెంటీన్ ఇయర్స్ ఓల్డ్ లైక్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫర్ టెన్ టు ట్వెల్వ్ ఇయర్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ బీన్ సీయింగ్ దట్ వర్స్ ఆన్ దట్ చర్చ్ వెన్ ఎవర్ ఐ గో టు ద చర్చ్ దట్ వర్స్ రిఫ్ల దట్ వర్స్ ఫస్ట్ అపియర్స్ టు మీ దట్ వర్స్ ద ఇంపాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ వర్స్ ఈజ్ స్టిల్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ అండ్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద రీజన్ వై ఐ వాంట్ టు చూస్ దిస్ వర్స్ టు మెడిటేట్ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ అలాంగ్ విత్ యూ ద ఫెయిత్ వితౌట్ డీడ్స్ ఈజ్ యూజ్లెస్ ఈజ్ వాట్ జేమ్స్ ఈజ్ టెలింగ్ సో ఇఫ్ ఈ సీ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఫూలిష్ uh in greek it is uh, it is said that it's an empty you, we can also read it as you empty person you foolish person meaning you empty person so empty dead is a dead head right when wherever there is an emptiness there is no point uh, we discuss about that emptiness or we we keep on meditating the emptiness so there is no point uh, so that that is what james is referring you foolish person meaning you empty person so do you want evidence that faith without deeds is useless so someone said uh, we are saved by faith alone but not by a faith that is alone so uh, whenever we think of faith or whenever we think of faith uh, 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 we, we we understand so many things around it right uh, like uh, faith if you if you want to have achieve if you want to achieve something if you want to uh in in worldly sense they say you have to believe yourself you have to you have to have faith in yourself they say so many things uh and uh, in that sense if we uh, the person who has said this we are saved by faith alone but not by a faith that is alone we are saved by faith no doubt but that faith is not alone because that faith should have an action so is what uh, uh is, is uh, james is trying to say so we'll just take two thoughts uh, from this uh, meditation uh, and let's see how where do we stand on these points or uh, or if you're already uh, standing on that points well and good we can continue doing that uh, and if not if it is if we are failing to stand in in certain uh, areas of these two points let us uh, correct ourselves or let us uh, desire that we we to follow what uh, james is trying to say if we see the uh, verses above uh here given so many examples very simple example if one of you uh like mm, we can see in the uh, verse 15 suppose a brother or a sister is without clothes and daily food if any one of you says to them go in peace keep warm and well fed but does nothing about their physical need what good is what good is it so these are simple words which are written by james just to make an understand that faith without action is useless so for this uh, for Mm, first point as a first point we'll turn in our bibles to luke chapter 18 uh, verse 35 and 42 this is a very beautiful prayer uh, i always like this prayer because it has so much of depth in it and it has so much of faith added to it uh, meaning that faith as a substance to the that prayer luke chapter 18 uh, verse 35 to 42 we'll not read all verses but we will uh, just see the words Uh, as it as it required uh, luke chapter 18 verse 35 to 42 i'll just read first verse as jesus approached jericho a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging uh, we are seeing a person here we knew this story uh, we have heard we have so many songs around this uh, uh, incident as well there is a blind man blind man and who was sitting by the roadside uh, he is not only a blind man but he is also uh, begging meaning he is a very poor person this is one of the beautiful prayer uh, i uh, i really uh, um, enjoy whenever i read this portion because the prayer is very straight forward the prayer has got faith in it and, and faith is is uh, acting as a substance to this prayer so his faith this blind man faith is he is putting into action through prayer so uh, this blind man who was sitting by road side begging and just see the next words when he heard the crowd going by so normally whenever beggars sit beside the road if they, if they listen so much of noise or so much of though they can't see they can uh, anticipate what's going on around them so much of people are moving uh, across the road uh, what, what generally a beggar can imagine yeah i got a good opportunity now i can collect so much of money now i can beg so much uh, n- 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 
more than a normal norm just like no, not in normal day uh, he can collect so much of money because so much of crowd has come so he can start he can make himself active and start begging so that he can collect so much of money is generally what a beggar think but look at this man look at this beggar or a blind man when he heard the crowd going by he had he asked what was happening and the people there surrounded uh, uh, near them they told him is jesus of nazareth is passing by so normally jesus of nazareth is passing by is what he heard and normally he can uh, think that he is very far uh, who, who am i to pray him who am i to call him uh, so he never thought in that way he he thought that uh, if uh, not sure how this person or this beggar has heard about lord jesus and not sure how from where he got this faith not sure who taught him to this blind man not sure who which person has sit beside him sat beside him and told him who is lord jesus or who is jesus of nazareth or who is the son of david and what he can done on what he has done though he don't have eyes he has no opportunity to see to go around and see what lord jesus has done if you see in in, in other miracles so many people have surrounded lord jesus and they were seeing the miracles and then they have accepted him and then they brought their own uh, family members or different people to heal but this man has never saw by his eyes the healing and the miracles what lord jesus has done but look at his faith look at his thoughts when people have said him jesus of nazareth nazareth is passing by and look at him what he is calling out in the next verse he is not calling him as jesus of nazareth is calling jesus son of david have mercy on me look at how precise is prayer look at how accurate or how to the point his prayer is is calling out jesus as a son of david probably the people around or the uh, the people uh, uh, or the jewish or that community or that community leaders may not be aware that who the jesus is but this blind man this beggar is calling him by name and saying jesus son of david and look at his uh, words uh, the, the words he is using have mercy on me and we see if we if we keep on reading the uh, next verses the people who are surrounded him has rebuked him saying to stop who are you to call the uh, lord jesus but what he has done he he, he was not quiet normally uh, whenever we pray whenever we have some needs or whenever we want to uh, uh, come to the lord with some prayer points if based on the sometimes based on the situations around us around us we fail to keep that faith and we fail uh, even we were influenced by the situation we sometimes stops praying and we sometimes depend on the people and this person is not asking the uh, some individuals who are around him to take him to the lord please take me please hold me please guide me to the lord he is not depending on the person but in our prayer sometimes we depend on the person we d- we look at the situations we look at how the things going on we look at the uh, if we are looking for a job we look at the, how the market place how how the market is going on because we see situations and we, then we start praying but here look at this blind man look at this beggar the faith is a substance for his prayer so with whenever we pray with faith as a substance we can achieve or we, we we can get whatever we want or we can we can have or we can get we can uh, get our get answer to our prayers let it be in anything even if we see so many verses which supports like whatever you want to ask ask me i'll sh- i shall give unto you so uh, when this beggar uh, in those days i'm sure he, he doesn't have this many words he doesn't have a bible even though there was a bible he could not you know he is not in a position to read but look at his faith he just added his faith as a substance to his prayer even if our prayers have that faith as a substance to our prayer god is going to answer our prayers we can see the verses next on uh, the 39th verse when people surrounding him has rebuked him and what he has done he has shouted more he has increased increased his voice the same words he is repeating son of david have mercy on me have mercy on me and then jesus stopped and ordered the man to be brought to him and we know uh, what lord jesus has done he was asking a question as if lord jesus doesn't know what he required but lord jesus want to test his faith 
test his prayer is his prayer is having a faith or is just shouting because so many people are around me or maybe you have whatever you have heard you have just heard or is he really having a faith in in me is what lord jesus want to test so this is another test for this man this is this is like a second or third test for this uh, for this blind man uh, in just just four five verses he has been uh, tested for a third time or probably a second or third time that uh, lord jesus is testing him this time first he was tested by his own physical disability and second he was tested by the people who are surrounded him and third he was tested by none other than lord jesus he, lord jesus was asking him what do you want me to do for you he know what he wants but lord jesus want to test his faith lord jesus want to test his prayer whether that prayer is a genuine prayer whether that prayer has a substance to it that faith has a substance to his prayer is what lord jesus was testing him so whenever we pray if we pray uh, with faith as a substance to it lord jesus is going to maybe lord jesus sometime test test us to see whether the faith which we are uh, demonstrating is uh, is a fair faith or is it a just a uh, temporary faith so we may come across that situation as well in our prayer life but at the end if we should, if we demonstrate the faith which lord jesus is expecting from us then definitely god is going to answer each and every prayer uh, in our lives we can see so many instances in the bible where where people have prayed for him and lord jesus has answered him even if i ask uh, uh, the congregation there are so many instances in our own lives when we have prayed for certain things when we have prayed lord jesus has answered so uh, whenever we pray if faith is a substance to that if faith is a base to that prayer lord jesus is going to answer our prayers and if we see the uh, next verses and is beggar the or this blind man's answer is very straight he is not hesitating to ask lord jesus he is very clear in his mind and when lord jesus has asked him what do you want me to do for you he is asking lord i want to see just look at to the point is he is there he is he is talking to lord jesus to the point lord i want to see and later on lord jesus said receive your sight your faith has been healed you lord jesus has given him the sight and look at what lord jesus has told him he is not saying your prayer has healed you he said your faith has healed you so this is what i want on our attention uh, uh, this morning on this point like our faith will heal us our faith whenever we pray in faith whenever we pray without faith there is no point whenever we pray with faith and lord jesus and our god is going to answer so if you see even the lord jesus words he said your prayer has healed you he is not saying that he is saying your faith has healed you and we can see immediately he received the sight followed jesus praising god when all the people saw it they also praised god so this is one point which i want to bring to your attention this morning that if our faith is in action there can be miracles will be done in our lives faith in action faith without action is dead as we have seen faith in action is useless is what james is trying to convey uh, through that verse so sometimes again uh, uh, coming to this point of prayer sometimes whenever we pray most of the times uh, people or or sometimes we pray lord if it is your will let it be done so if you look at this uh, blind man's prayer i really uh, can uh, we, we can really take one point from here he is not saying lord if it is your will give me the sight he is very clear lord i want to see lord i want to see even we have so many uh, verses as a base like whatever we wish for we can ask whatever we wish whatever we want we can ask and and god is going to give us i just want to uh, give some base to this uh, thought uh, uh, maybe uh, whenever we say that uh, how can you how can you not say that uh, your will or uh, sometimes we feel uh, uh, better say lord if it is your will uh, please give it to me no if you want certain things in particular no need to use the word if it is your will this is what i feel uh, because uh, it has got some base for me uh, if you if you look at one verse from john uh, gospel was 15 was 15 uh, sorry chapter 15 and verse 7 john chapter 15 and verse 7 
is a base uh, for me for what i am saying that uh, we always no need to say lord if it is your will give it to me but we can uh, i'll just read it for you so that uh, it will be um, everyone can listen if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you if you remain in me and my words remain in you ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you this was i have literally taken into my life and i have seen miracles and i have seen so many prayers were answered so many wishes i had uh, throughout my till my life and every every wish has been answered or every wish has been given to me by lord jesus so these are the words if you look at the first starting uh, words of this verse if you remain in me and there are two instructions given if you remain in me first instruction and second one my words remain in you then you ask whatever you want whatever you wish and it will be done for you so whenever we his words are in our heart whenever we stand in him and whenever his words remain in us then we will know what wishes we should have and what wishes we should not have what we have to desire and what not to desire in our lives so if his words remain in us and if we if we remain in him and you ask whatever you wish maybe a physical thing maybe a spiritual thing maybe your career wise anything but the important thing here is we have to remain in him first his words should remain in in us when we are now as we are talking about the faith faith in action that's his lord jesus that is his word that bible says faith in action so if those words come into our heart and if we keep that faith and if we put that faith in action uh, that is that is what uh, uh, this verse says if those words remain in you then ask whatever whatever you wish there is no ifs and buts here there simply is straight forward it saying ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you but when his words remain in us then we will know what to wish and what not to wish so whenever we pray for certain things whenever we we really desire some things uh, we if we pray uh, if we uh, let, let's not use lord if it is your will give it to me let's say lord i want this but that prayer should have faith as a substance that prayer should have faith as a substance is the same uh, thing we have seen in this uh, uh, parable or uh, in this uh, uh, instance where blind man has received the sight he is not saying lord if it is your will please give me the sight he is directly saying lord i want to see and lord jesus also answered him directly saying receive your sight and his faith has healed him so whenever we pray certain for that certain things and we also uh, should have a practice of praying for spiritual things uh, like whenever we pray for our children uh, we pray for our children salvation i i never use lord if it is your will uh, please save him lord if it is your will please bring him to the salvation i i don't use if it is your will i say lord i want my child to be saved i want my child to understand the meaning of the salvation so that's how we have to pray when even in our spiritual things even whenever we pray for our spiritual things we should also uh, make a practice that we also have to pray for spiritual things that lord give me the faith increase my faith lord lord uh, help me to walk with you in every situation so whenever we pray for spiritual things you know lord jesus is is very much happy to answer our prayers not only spiritual things lord uh, as we have seen in the 7th uh, verse of chapter 15 of uh, gospel john it says whatever you wish let it be a physical thing or a spiritual thing or a related to your children or whatever you ask i i, I am going to give but that prayer should have a substance faith as a substance to it so if you put faith in action in our prayers lord jesus is there and our god almighty is there to answer our prayers so uh, this is the one thought i just want to bring to your attention and also we'll see uh, one more thought uh, uh, that is about hope what is a hope where is our hope i'll just read one verse from uh, hebrew chapter 11 uh, verse 1 uh, about hebrew chapter 11 what's it can Hebrew chapter 11 verse 1 uh, I'll read it for you it it gives uh, 
some clarity output hope now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see now faith is confidence uh, in kjv it, it it has written uh, it has been written as now faith is substance in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see and we if we see uh, the verses uh, the later on verses in the same chapter of hebrew 11 uh, even this verse uh, even this chapter titled as faith in action or uh, people who are with faith we we see so many people uh, or see so many individuals uh, in the in the uh, remaining part of this chapter like by faith and and what sort of hope they have hoped for and uh, just to read one or two verses we uh, if we, if we read one verse from uh, in the same chapter fifth, uh, fifth verse by faith enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death he could not be found because god has taken him away for before he was taken he was commanded as one of one who pleased god and also if we see uh, if we read the another verses uh, was eight by faith abraham when called to go to a place where he would later receive in his inheritance obeyed and went even though he did not know where he was going this is a very peculiar situation of uh, abraham he was called to go to a certain place he was not told to which place but he was just called and he don't know what to hope for which place he is going but look at his faith he is putting his faith in action and whenever we put our faith in action we can hope for the things we are we are yet to see or we uh, or the things we are unseen uh, whenever we go some trials or whenever we go some temptations or whenever we go some difficult times in our lives uh, when people come and visit us and people come and uh, try to uh, be with us uh, through calls or through in person so what are we talking to them are we talking to them as a hopeless person are we talking to them as a hopeful person so let let us uh, think uh, about this uh, thought like whenever we are going in a different situations when everything goes well well and good we can always hope we can always put our faith in action we can always pray we can always worship when everything goes uh, when everything going on well around us and when sometimes uh, sometimes or some situations come across to our maybe uh, some may have fallen sick in our family or some uh, our uh, Uh, going to difficult times maybe our children are going to difficult times in their career <clears throat> or uh, when we are when we are in different situations how is our hope how is our faith at that time is our faith coming into action are people able to see the hope in us in us whenever people try to come to and console us are we able to give them the hope back the what we believe maybe an unbeliever or believer whenever unbelievers talk to us about the situation about this pandemic around us they are hopeless because they don't know what is hope and what is faith and whenever unbelievers or in our in a you know places where we are working uh, we see nowadays everyone is talking very disappointed or depression uh, they are saying it's becoming very tough to handle the family and to be at home every time to go out to come in they talk all all depression so as an individual as a believer what sort of hope we are giving what sort of hope we are passing on to that individual are we able to say no everything will be this is uh, are we able to refer any uh, any verse from the bible and telling tell them that this is what we believe this is what i believe this is what i am hoping for this is what this is what our faith are we able to put that faith in action to the people who are coming across to us even to the believers sometimes even believers also uh, sometimes even in our depression they are, they are some are like they add more to it or they don't give any hope they only simply say uh, they they say that uh, i am praying for you but more than that if you are able to show that faith in action that hope what we are hoping for uh, how how beautiful it is one statement given by uh, one of the uh, father uh, who has lost his son uh, you know, at a very young age when he died he said that uh i want to thank the lord for keeping my son for these many long years with me so look at the positivity or look at that way of thinking of that person he is a believer he is a man, he, he is he is uh, he know word of god 
he is a man in action the faith he, he puts his faith in action and look at the words he is saying i want to thank the lord for keeping my son for these long years with me that statement when i heard it really pierced my heart like how much how much we have to show the faith in our lord who has done so many so many things in our lives but whenever we go difficult times we always disappoint sometimes we disappoint our lord sometimes we keep our keep our faith away sometimes we keep our hope hope aside but that is not what james is telling he is telling keep your faith in action my brothers and sisters otherwise it will be an useless otherwise the faith which you are carrying for these long years when certain situation comes to you which against works against you then bring out that faith then demonstrate the faith and put it in action and hope there is a great hope for us we we have so many times we heard right whenever uh, after our death we go to heaven even if someone someone dies in our family and they are, if they are believer and they are have got the salvation they go to heaven uh, uh, some time back like it's been 3 uh, 4 years back the one incident has happened uh, in one of the church like uh, they have lost uh, their father i mean he is a, he is a grandfather uh, he has been in the lord and that family has been is in the lord for almost 20 to 25 years they are, they are taking part in the table and they have they have given the gospel and they have brought so many people to the uh, church uh, so many unbelievers they have brought to the church and they have believed and uh, they are the soul winners but there was a time when that that he is almost he has come to 70 75 years age and he has died because of some sickness but it was like overnight death uh, he was not and is is not kind of bedridden or something like that but it was a sudden death and whole family went into a great shock they uh, when we went for a funeral they were crying like anything that uh, when i saw them uh, are they really a believers are they really have a faith in lord are they able to put uh, do these people doesn't know uh, w- what we can hope for after death and that individual is almost come to an uh, end because he is almost 70 to 75 years so even uh, nowadays living for 60 years itself is a great but just it happened 5 years back he was there for 75 years and he was dead and the family members all are believer the way they are crying and they the way they are shouting at that dead body it really shook me like uh, what sort of faith they are carrying what sort of hope they have we have heard so many times so many messages this blind man doesn't have any this blind man doesn't have any messages or even now if you just type a word in a youtube or a, 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 in a internet we get a messages for that particular topic but look at that individual prayer or look at that people uh, uh, the who are mentioned in this chapter 11 this abraham or enoch or noah they don't have a bible or they don't have a uh, different versions of bible we at least we have bible and we have so many versions of bibles we are just click away for any message we want to hear but in those times this abraham noah and all these people mentioned in this bible uh, in this chapter they never have a bible they they don't even uh, have a word uh, which they can hold in their hands but look at their hope look at their faith so now we are we are so called blessed people we have a word of god in our hands different versions different languages and how much we have to demonstrate the faith and how much we have to demonstrate the hope we have so that family was crying like anything i was asking uh, my father they are coming to church from 20 to 25 years and this one death why it is shaking their faith so there's no answer for it straight forward answer so whenever something happens in our life it's and death is very natural death is is always there i mean uh, in these days it is all, it is like surrounding us every day you open news we have some thousands of death we are hearing so death is quite normal it has become quite normal these days but when something happens in our in our in our family or some may fell sick or some may get bedridden or some may on the edge of the death what sort of faith we are able to demonstrate what sort of hope we are able to give to the one who is coming to visit that patient uh, or maybe believer or unbeliever are we able to say we have a hope that we will be with this person one day in heaven so that is what we hope for hope for are we able to say that yes the best place for this individual is heaven 
so even i am going to heaven one day and to be live with that family member uh, forever and ever so are we able to tell the same words to the believer or unbe- unbeliever uh, people generally come to console us in this uh, uh, in these kind of situations are we able to give them the hope back which we have so these two thoughts i want to bring it to your attention this morning whenever we put faith in action and faith should be a substance to our prayer faith should be a substance to our hope then we we'll, uh, we will we we are uh, we will be reaching the standards of the james is what he is trying to say he is saying brothers and sisters let's put our faith in action let's not put our faith on the shelf let's not put our faith on the cupboard or and uh, whenever everything is good let's not take it out and say yeah i have a faith no whenever we are going to some tough times you have to demonstrate the faith the faith we have to use that as a substance for our prayer the faith we have to use this as a substance for our hope we are all hopeful people that lord jesus is going to come one day and he is going to take us to to his place so whenever we think of these words we have to irrespective of in spite of any situation around us in spite of any tough times around us in spite of death coming close to us we should be always say i have a hope that i'll be with lord jesus forever and ever one day and and whenever we are in need of something we can always pray you wish for something and if you add faith as a substance to that prayer lord jesus is going to answer so these two thoughts i want to uh, bring it uh, to to your attention this morning so faith in action or faith without action is dead so let us uh, <clears throat> take few moments and uh, uh, before we uh, uh, close this worship uh, with this time i just want you all to take just few moments where do i stand in these two points where do i stand in the prayer point or prayer life where do i stand whenever i speak is my words able to demonstrate the hope which i have in my heart the hope which is i always we have heard so many times about hope and the prayer and what prayer can do but is our faith is acting as a substance to this prayer is our faith acting as a substance to our hope so let us just examine if we are already in these lines i praise god for that let's continue in that faith let's continue in that hope let's continue in that prayer and let's continue putting our faith in action but if not let us examine and let us take these words into our hearts and ask god to help us so i request match sang match sankul to uh, close it in prayer thank you faith without works is dead you know sometimes when we go through tough times crisis you feel our faith falling right but someone said it's not your faith falling god is showing your actual level of faith that was always your faith the bible says in hebrews chapter 11 where we read that without faith you cannot please god our goal in life as a believer is to please god and if you don't have faith we cannot please god we fail at the very first step so maybe be people who exercise faith and faith brings rich blessings into our life in terms of the power of god in our life and what a hope and which better time to show this faith than times like this when people around us there is so much of fear when we say that we have a great hope and not just say you must show that hope in the way we serve those who are not well the way we reach out where god wants us to go faith in action let us pray for that that we have this faith in action let us pray father we thank you for your word we thank you lord that you plant the seed of faith in our lives and you expect us to exercise this faith making the seed grow by abiding in you by taking our nourishment in you 
And we thank you, Lord, for this power that is there that accompanies true faith, the blessings that are us, blessings not necessarily in money, but far greater blessings. Lord, may each one of us have this faith in us. May we be people who exercise this faith. Especially when trials come, when tribulation comes. May we show this faith to a world without hope. And that can be a gospel more than the words that we speak. Lead us to walk in your power. And lead us, Lord, not to have faith in the wrong things. Many times we place our faith in the wrong things and suffer. But may we have faith in the living God and live for his glory. We thank you for your servant. We thank you for his word. Thank you and praise you, Master. Accept this prayer, for we offer this in the sweet and exalted name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us pronounce the benediction. Now, now to him who is able to keep you from falling and to present you before his glorious presence without fault, and with great joy to the only God our Savior be glory, majesty, power, and authority through Jesus Christ our Lord before all ages, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God